Mohammed had a child bride named Aisha. He married her when she was six or seven years old, but she came down with some sort of illness that caused her hair to fall out. After her hair grew back, Muhammad consummated the marriage. The Prophet of Islam climbed on top of his child bride when she was nine years old. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5158. The Prophet wrote the marriage contract with Aisha while she was six years old and consummated his marriage with her while she was nine years old and she remained with him for nine years, i.e. till his death. Sahih Muslim 3480. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Prophet married me when I was six years old and consummated the marriage with me when I was nine years old. Sahih Muslim 3481. It was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet married her when she was seven years old and she was taken to him as a bride when she was nine years old and she took her dolls with her. He died when she was 18 years old. Muhammad eventually had somewhere between 9 and 11 wives at one time, even though the Quran says that Muslim men are limited to 4 wives at a time, and he would have sex with all of them on the same day. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5068. The Prophet used to go around, have sexual relations with all his wives in one night, and he had 9 wives. We can only conclude that Muhammad would kiss and tell, because his followers knew all about him having sex with all of his wives on the same day. His followers even bragged that he had the sexual strength of 30 men. Sahih al-Bukhari, 268. Anas bin Malik said, The Prophet used to visit all his wives in a round, during the day and night, and they were 11 in number. I asked Anas, Had the Prophet the strength for it? Anas replied, We used to say that the Prophet was given the strength of 30 men. And Sayyid said, on the authority of Qatada, that Anas had told him about 9 wives only, not 11. Porn stars ain't got nothing on the Prophet of Islam. Muhammad's reputation spread until people didn't even want him marrying their daughters because they thought of him as a womanizer. A woman named Layla once offered herself to Muhammad as a wife, and Muhammad accepted her proposal. Let's read about her family's reaction in the History of at Tabari, Volume 9, page 139. She went back to her people and said that the Messenger of God had married her. They said, What a bad thing you have done! You are a self-respecting woman, but the Prophet is a womanizer. Seek an annulment from him. She went back to the Prophet and asked him to revoke the marriage, and he complied with her request. So, Muhammad was known as a womanizer, but of all his wives and sex slaves, his child bride Aisha was his favorite. He even asked his followers why they would marry an adult woman when they could fondle little girls. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5080. Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah, when I got married, Allah's messenger said to me, What type of lady have you married? I replied, I have married a matron. He said, Why? Don't you have a liking for the virgins and for fondling them? Jabir also said, Allah's messenger said, Why didn't you marry a young girl so that you can, might play with her and she with you? Now, if you're a normally functioning man without serious mental health issues, you have to be wondering why any grown man would be attracted to a little girl more than to a grown woman. But Muhammad tries to explain it to us, and he tries to explain his preference by comparing Aisha to food that's better than other food. Sahih al-Bukhari, 3411. Allah's Messenger said, Many amongst men reach the level of perfection, but none amongst the women reach this level except Asiya, Pharaoh's wife, and Mary, the daughter of Imran. And no doubt, the superiority of Aisha to other women is like the superiority of al-Farid, i.e. a meat and bread dish, to other meals. A young girl, according to Muhammad, is simply a better dish than a grown woman. Some prophet you've got there, my Muslim friends. Now please, by all means, fill up the comments section with, don't trust this David Wood guy, he's taking things out of context and distorting the passages as if I didn't just put the passages up on the screen so that people can read them for themselves. Aisha takes the woman to Muhammad and says, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing women. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. This is Aisha, the mother of the faithful, saying that Muslim women were being treated worse than pagan women.